Hi everybody, this is Chris Latner at vTechnologies. Today we're going to take a look at the batch import function built into Starship 12.1. This is a useful function if you want to run through a batch of records without having to handle each individual sales order or invoice. Starship offers a number of different interfaces that give you real-time access to your accounting data for orders and invoices. This would be useful if you had a batch of records that you wanted to process all at once, print out your labels, and we'll take you through that configuration now. So you can use either a text file, commons limited, tab separated, or a spreadsheet to do this with. So we'll close our source file here. Then we can open that up on the Starship screen. You'll find the import routine under the tools menu. We'll get into shipment import. From here you can access your source file. You have the ability to import the headers as well, so that'll show up in your drop-down menu of the various data that you can import. And then you're going to want to define a key field. In this case, I have the invoice number here in the first column. I'm going to use that to define unique transaction IDs inside a Starship. We'll give our template a name. And this will bring up the mapping utility where you can go in and match up each of the Starship fields to your source file. You can connect to your import record here. And this will bring up a menu of all the various fields that we can connect to. And you'll match them up one for one. Once you've completed that, you say OK here. That will save your file. We're going to delete this test here, and then we'll just bring up our import routine that we've already previously defined. And you can see all the fields that we've mapped here. You can also define a fixed value as well in the import routine if you have a field that's always going to be a standard set of text. Once you've created your mappings, you have some preferences here at the bottom. You can define how you want Starship to interact with your batch record. You can save it as a draft. You can process it and print your labels. If there's an error, you can prompt the user to take some action, make a choice. You can also abort the batch process, and you can also skip the shipment as well. And then here on the bottom, you have prompts for what to do when you have a duplicate shipment. You can have Starship create a new shipment record. You can combine those together in the same shipment, or you can prompt the user to take action. So we're going to save this as a draft. We're going to take all of our records, import them into Starship, and then we'll be able to play with them. I'll go ahead and click on Import here. So Starship is reading our source file in. We're creating records for each of those individual lines on our spreadsheet, and we'll have several shipments available that we can work with. When that finishes, it'll give you a message that you have all of these shipments. They've been imported to the database and it tells you how much time it took to do that. Once we have all of our shipment records inside of Starship, we have a couple of ways that we can deal with them. We can work with them one for one, where you can process individual shipments or you can select a range. So you're going to go into Tools and Imported Batches. And from here, you can view your shipments. If you have multiple batch files that you've imported, you can filter on the date, the carrier, and the status. Now I'll open up View Shipments. And this will give me all of my pending transactions, and I can choose to sort here as well by company name, uh, the date, the carrier, the status, any number of ways that I can find individual records. So I can put a filter field in here. That'll narrow my view down, and then I can open up an individual record to process. Instead of going one by one, what we're going to do is take this batch of records, and we're going to process them all together. So from here, I'm going to select my batch of 33 records, and I'm going to click on Ship and Process. This will move all these transactions onto the manifest, assign the tracking number, the freight, and print out my labels.
Once my batch file has been successfully processed, you'll receive a message here telling you that all the records have been processed, and it'll give you an exception notice for any of the shipments that failed to process. In this case, we can see that the uh, first class mail that was selected as a service is not acceptable for the weight of the package, so we've deferred that. It's still in the batch that has not been processed. We also had a uh, exception here for the PO box when it failed the address validation for the selected service. So we can go in and find those exceptions and deal with those individually, but we can see we have 30 records here that have been processed, moved to the manifest, at which point you can go ahead and post those shipments. That's batch processing with Starship 12.